guys, it's your girl Senior D, and if you can tell by the title, today we are talking about dupes. So when it comes to dupes, everyone's trying to find a low and costly affordable dupe for high-end products. And today I think I have found one for you guys. So if you watched my last video, I got my boxy charm, and inside of it I had a palette for Crown Pro. And the palette, the way I kind of described it, is that the tones kind of reminded me of the Naked Heat palette. And today, when I did my look for today, I actually swatched a bunch of it and to find, come to find out, they really are dupes for each other and it's really kind of crazy. So if you guys can look at my eyes today, which I'll input some pictures, um, I did my makeup look with both of these palettes. One is the low end, the, a more costly affordable one, which is the Crown Pro, and the other one is the Naked Heat palette. Can you tell the difference? Because honestly, when I looked at myself in the mirror, which I'll also input some pictures that I took um, with it somewhere in this video, realistically, you cannot tell the difference between the two of them at all. So it's kind of really crazy. I'm kind of just like mind boggled by it when people come out with, when brands come out with um, palettes that are similar to each other. I get why they do it because they're trying to, again, copy the other brand. And it just, I mean, it's not, it's, it means they don't have their own idea. But I get why they're doing it, because they want to make money for themselves, especially for a low end, and make it more costly affordable for the consumer when you think about it all. But again, this is my own opinion. So again, these are really good quality makeup. Either or, whether you have the Naked Heat palette or you have the Crown Pro, like I got my BoxyCharm, they're both worth the buy just based on the, the tones and the pigmentation that's in these palettes. So again, we're going to go into a little bit more in depth. I'm going to show you guys the palettes, give you a little bit of information about them if I can find it on the internet. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So obviously you saw in the picture again, in the title, we are talking about these two palettes right here that I have in my hand. The first one is the Naked Heat by Urban Decay, and the other one is the Crown Pro. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and switch hands for these. Um, but anyways, can you tell which one is on my eyes, yay or nay? So I'm going to let you know that the Crown Pro is on this eye, and the Naked Heat palette is on this eye. So obviously... Um, my right and this one is on the left on my left but if you guys look at the pictures it's vice versa anyway so let's look at the palette so obviously you have the naked heat palette which is right here for you guys to kind of see and if you look at the tones which I will show you guys right here you guys can tell like how deep and obviously they're warm tones like burnt oranges burnt browns um, those kinds of tones that are in here in this palette here for you so and that's why they call it the naked heat palette and you kind of have that that kind of burnt um, fiery pattern in the front of the palette as well then the other one which I just recently got again in my boxy charm is the crown pro now this one has a few less shadows than the naked heat palette does but the pans are a little bit bigger and as you can tell this is what it looks like right here for you guys as well Again, very, very similar. So I'm going to show you guys a side by a picture here somewhere um, of the swatches that I took. And I took them outside in natural lighting in the sun so you can really tell the pigmentation and what they look like. It's just really crazy um, for, for these two palettes to be so similar. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of people try to copy Urban Decay because they are a very known and popular brand and known for their pigmentation and known for um, the great palettes that they have. And then obviously that's where Crown Pro comes in as a more of an indie brand and not as well known brand um, for for their eyeshadow palettes. So, I mean, it's just, it's really crazy. Obviously, so when you talk about Urban Decay, it is a more prestigious high-end brand. You can get Ulta, you can get Sephora. And for the price of this palette, I believe it is $54, obviously in US dollars. I'm not sure what it is in other, in other countries, but again, $54 for us in the US. And then for the Crown Pro palette, this came out 
um, at $29.99. So obviously there is a complete difference here, $24 difference when it comes to these two palettes. So I mean, it just depends on which one you really want to get. So again, with the Urban Decay one, this one came out back last year in 2017 in June. Um, I'm not really sure when this one came out. I tried to find some information about it, such as when it was made. I just know they called this one the Fuego palette, and this one is the Heat palette. So I mean, you see where they're similar in words, even, even though the language barrier there, because they use Fuego and they use Heat. Again, fire, heat, same difference, same type of description if you think about it when it comes to the two palettes. So again, really, really crazy that these are really great dupes for each other. So I'll kind of just swatch something really quickly just for you. So if you look at this palette right here, you have the color um, Lumbre, which is this one right here. Right here, I'm going to swatch that really quickly for you guys, just so you guys can kind of see. So that's what it looks like on my finger, and then when you swatch it on my arm, that is what it looks like. So you can tell how shimmery and how beautiful that is. It is like a pinky copper type of tone, and that is just one swatch of it all there. And then if you swatch this one, now these don't have names on them. Um, but when I swatch this one, they are literally identical. Now, when it comes to the formula, they do seem a little bit different. One seems a little bit more softer. Other one seems a little bit more buttery. So now if I swatch this one here for you guys, I mean, they literally are almost practically identical. Again, so crazy that these two companies have a dupe for each other. So obviously, Naked Heat 54. The pro one is $29.99, so it just depends on how much money you want to spend. If you want to say you have the Naked Heat palette in your in your collection, I say go ahead and pick it up and buy it. But if you want the more affordable brand, which is Crown, um, you can definitely go ahead and, and pick this up as well. Now this is a little bit of description on the back for you on the palette. It does tell me that it has uh, 12 zero. 0.05 ounces is the capacity of each one of these. So there's 12 shades in this one. And then for the Crown Pro, obviously there's 10 eyeshadows. Um, I had the case around here somewhere that told me the descriptions. Oh, sorry, let me reach down and grab it. This one has a total weight of 0.71, uh, 0.71 ounces or 20 grams. And so I guess if you divide that by 10, each one of these weighs about, mm, I don't really know the names, oh, about 0.7, sorry, about 0.07 ounces for each one of these in the palette. So even more, you probably get more in this. If you think about it, you divide it by price and amount, you get more for your money here when it comes to like size and value than what you do here in this palette. But obviously you do get two more eyeshadows, but again, is it really worth the two extra eyeshadows in here that aren't in this palette? So, I don't know, it is what it is. You tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I don't know, mine's a little blown that I just got this palette like a few days ago and I've had this one sitting in my collection for a little bit and now I have a dupe for one for the other. So, I don't know, mine's just a blow and I'm a little shook, so. Obviously, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time for coming to my channel and listening to my thoughts, comments, concerns about some of the things that are going on in beauty and in makeup. If you guys love this channel, again, please subscribe down below. Please hit that notification, little bell somewhere over there somewhere. Also give this video a thumbs up. It does help me a lot. I really appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.